Realtree's Midwest Whitetail is brought to you by Cuddyback, Drake Non-Typical, Easton Arrows, Frigid Forage, Fuse, Grizzly Coolers, Hoyt, and Realtree. January 4th, it's about 2.45, and Max and I are set up on the River Bottom Farm, and uh, we've been set up by 20, 30 minutes. It's a lot colder today, overcast, the actual temperatures, upper 20s or so, and uh, Jared and I are actually both out here tonight, and we've got both of the uh, exit routes pretty well covered off the peninsula. I think five or six times we've had Merino going out to the north. I filmed him three different times out of that sycamore tree and Jared had him in the pinch the one night and uh, Jared was kind of debating what was the best spot to get him in bow range but uh, he picked the pinch which I would argue is the best spot to get him in bow range and so I came down here to the to the south turnip plot to give him a little bit of space and to kind of cover the the back door exit and oddly enough we've almost never had merino on this food plot the only other time they've ever been here was actually two nights ago. Marino was here at 4.30, so hopefully um, one of us can uh, lay eyes on him again. It was good to know that he, he hasn't shed and he, he hasn't been killed. I was a little bit worried the other day when the neighbor shot to the north, but we'll see. I'm looking forward to the set. We're down to our last few days. I'm going to, if uh, Bella wants to, I'm going to be taking her out tomorrow night. And then I'll have Monday and Tuesday afternoon after work, and, and that'll be it. So we're right at the end here. It's nice to have a little bit of cool weather, so I'm hoping the movement is good.
turn, but I'm just gonna shoot him. You ready? Yeah. I don't know. Did I miss him? Well, that did not look good at all. Um, I, uh, I have very little to no confidence that I actually hit that deer. He, normally, if I shoot him in the chest with that muzzleloader, I mean, they just crumple right there. And I'm not sure what happened. I uh, want to tell you guys, just 20 minutes earlier, we had a pile of deer coming out. And I could see them working their way through the, through the peninsula. Unfortunately, the wind is still really having a lot of northwest gusts. And uh, where Jared and Grant are, um, that winds this plot if it's northwest. It's supposed to be west-southwest for the last few hours of the day, but those deer uh, got their wind and they just all cleared out of here. So I figured the hunt was over. And uh, I actually hung the gun up and was just kind of sitting back, well, you know, chalk it up that the hunt's over but uh, a little while later I, I look and I can see deer moving up through and uh, lo and behold one of the deer is Merino and um, I don't know what happened I mean I uh, I didn't want him to get too far out in the plot because I think I thought it was just a matter of time till uh, they'd get their wind and um, we had one doe in the bunch that must have caught us moving up here, talking, trying to, you know, figure out where he was. And I mean, he's only 95 yards away. That's a chip shot with this muzzleloader. And like I said, there's a few little limbs coming off of this maple branch. And I guess I could have deflected off of one of them. I don't see that I hit any of them, but that's a little bit hard to see. Um, anyway, a nice big target who's his his whole chest with that um with that muzzle loader but i think uh, after seven eight encounters he's gonna live to fight another day <laughs> pretty dang frustrating well, we just got back to the buggy and uh to say i'm disgusted with myself is an understatement um there's no sign on the ground whatsoever. You know, I've watched the video back about 25 times and there's no evidence that I hit him. Like I said before, I've got three days left to go, but uh, it's be a tough one to swallow for both me and my wife. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's grinded out this season as much as I have, uh, dealing with the five kids at home and letting me come and hunt. And I know she uh, wanted nothing more than for me to fill this last tag, but uh, here we are. Uh, pretty frustrating after all those encounters, but we'll keep our head up and keep after them.